How are those beautiful kittens? Oh my god! <laughs> hey, I'm looking for you. There you go. Ready? Oh, but by the way, who also, also, the bunch of you recommended that we put water, uh, mix water with her food, with her wet food, to make it more, um, I guess, like, that consistency. So I did that this morning. Uh, and she seems to like a lot, and I think she'll probably eat more of it. But, like, yeah, her appetite's on, which is wonderful. Um, also, gonna call the mobile vet and have them come out today and check her. And the goal is today to get her and the kittens up to their room, up to their new room. Oh, but mama also, last night, went into her litter box and had some nice healthy poopies and all that stuff. No blood, no nothing. coffee, okay, mama? baby mama. Trish says good morning. more bass. Morning.
so whoever recommended the wet food, uh, we had some water, we did that, and she really seems to like it. But the kittens, hold up, ready? Oh, thank you for the heartwarming. More. Oliver's doing good. We were just upstairs showing him all the love. Oh, thank you for the platinum. Dang. Dang, more. That's cray. Thank you. Look at that. Francis. gray one I swear like I love snoo but that little gray one is just <laughs> full of life I love that one Welcome, it's for the kids. <laughs> Hi, Francis and babies. Hey, Hung 69er, good morning. Oh, vomit, what's going on? So nice to see her regaining strength so fast. Cheers with the coffee. Hey, thanks. Cheers. Hey, Fox Hound, good morning. Guys, guys, good. Oh, I love you, Mama. 
Hello, OP. I really needed this today. Thanks. I hope you got some rest last night. Um, I finally slept back in my bed with uh, my girlfriend. We had in, uh, in our bed and in, in, in upstairs in a real bed. <laughs> I think I can break down my and the inflatable down here. But yes, I feel much better today. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Hi, Mama. I love you. Guys, she lets me... This is wild. So, like, she lets me, like, kiss her on the face and touch her belly now and all that. It's wild. Mama. Oh, are they hungry? She's such a natural... She really is such a natural. She's been, I mean, I literally, I, I was just telling, I was just telling somebody on LinkedIn that I, uh, that this was just like, I, I, I know she would have figured it out, but Trish and I think that she was pregnant before and she lost those kittens. Um, and cause she was pregnant and then she wasn't, and then she was pregnant. Right. And she was gone for a couple weeks and we never knew what happened. And, uh, we think that she was pregnant before and somehow she gave birth out there and she lost her kittens. Right. So the fact that this is happening, right. And the way that Reddit from the time that she was an outdoor cat astray and the way you guys helped me and coached us and, and told us things and gave us tips to get her inside and all that stuff and to get her trusting us. And, um, and then when we were down here, all, all, everything that you guys did to get us through the pregnancy and the birth and, and, and the things you told me about the placenta and like, you know, everything. I didn't know, <laughs> I knew nothing about this. So, mama, I'm so proud of you. You were down there for what, four days? Yeah. Three days, four days. Thank you for the 18 upvotes. Thank you for the um, 1,900 coins. Y'all are so sweet. <laughs> she hasn't had any catnip since she's been inside. She had that fresh catnip outside, but she had, um, she loves tuna. I'm not, no, not tuna, salmon. Right, baby? Like salmon, right? Yeah. Salmon is her favorite. fact that we got her and her kittens and like I mean the way that everything went I, I I'm not just saying this for upvotes and I'm not saying this so you guys think I'm would it's cool or part of the story or whatever but like genuinely I just don't think this would have gone as well without the reddit community I don't know what would have happened I don't but I'm, I don't think it would have I don't I there's things along the way that I had no idea that I would have totally if I was by myself I would have freaked out <laughs> and probably like the placenta thing when it was still connected to um number four um, Snoo, when, when that thing, you guys, uh, the many times you guys told me, calm down. <laughs> and then there, certain things were just natural and whatever. I mean, do you guys plan to sp spay her? Yeah, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to spay, get her spayed and we're going to get her vaccinated and we're going to keep her and one of the kittens. And then we already have one of them adopted out to somebody on the, we're trying to get them all adopted to people on the block that we're friends with so that we can keep her and her, her family somewhat together. I know you guys say that separation is not a thing with cats, but like, what if? I've been checking your live streams every day and I'm glad Francis is doing well. She's doing amazing, thank you. So, babe, I was just, so I forgot last night. All right, so, um, the, um, She's not, she's, she's going to the bathroom regularly. There's not blood in her stool anymore. She's eating and drinking. Um, she's tending to her kittens. She's being, she's not lethargic. She's incredibly affectionate and, and calm and stuff, right? So like, should we call the mobile vet today or should we, we, should we push out that eight weeks and let them do their thing and then get them vaccinated and separate or should we check her sooner? Because we can have a mobile vet come to the house. I 
I see you changed the name of her name to the feminine. Yes, Trish, Trish and I had words about it. <laughs> she has a pretty coat. Isn't she gorgeous though? And she's starting to, she's already starting to like petite up a little bit. Like losing that pregnant weight. Sound good to me. I'm not a vet though. Eh, maybe wait a bit so it doesn't stress her out more. That's what I was thinking. A vet check sounds good. A mobile vet, where do you live? In Philly. I, that's, that was another thing that came from Reddit. Y'all y'all recommended that. We were, gonna, we were about to take her and try to force her and her babies into a, a, a thing and take them to the, the animal hospital to get her checked when she had some blood in her stool right after her pregnancy. But she's... I mean, she's so, she's good, and I I don't want to um, roll back that trust or that, uh, that you know what I mean. I gave in. It's Francis. I almost said something, but you were in crisis then, so I didn't want to bug you. It was my sister's middle name. <laughs> I vote to wait on the vet visit. I really think she's fine. I never knew there was a feminine version. It looks like plural version of Francis. I know, right? opinion I would wait because this trust is new um but quarantine from Oliver from uh, Oscar Oliver yeah um so maybe sooner is better definitely belly rubs in the vet yes yes that's where the name Franny comes from I see I think you will break the trust temporarily because he will I have to fuck with the kittens. No, I can, I can totally, she doesn't mind if I handle the kittens. She doesn't, it doesn't bother her. Thank you for the 25 upvotes. Um, she doesn't, um, Oh, no, no, no. We're not letting her... We're not letting Oliver anywhere near her or the kittens in, before that eight weeks. Oh, yeah. The playlist is called Calming Cat Music. It also has a built-in... This, this playlist has a built-in cat purr sound and healing music to reduce stress. YouTube is the best. so much more okay so i put two things of wet food in there um and i i mixed again whoever recommended that thank you i don't remember who recommended a couple people recommended mixing some water and with the wet food and she really likes that better so thank you and she's probably getting way more hydration then which is great but also we put two things in there and that's how much she so that's good she's eating a lot um i love you you're doing so good you're such a natural mama. And her ears healing up, see that? Mama, you're healing up so well. And your babies. 
And your babies roll over. Go ahead. There you go. There you go, mama. Let's get these babies up here, huh? There we go. Let's get everybody on tap. There we go. Let me get your bellies. So we put everybody on tap. There we go. I know. It's breakfast. There we go. You're a good mama. Horrible cameraman. Hung 69er. Thanks for. Food's right here. Okay, I'm gonna move right there so you have your water. More water there. Okay. So, girl. Oh, thank you for the silver. Thank you for the heartwarming.
It's a it's a cuddle pile. such a good life now, Mama. All right, so I think we're going to wait on the mobile vet visit because Everything seems to be going well. And I don't think there's anything wrong currently, right? We're solid. General consensus of everybody is that we should wait and just increase the bond a little bit more. And then, especially if we can get them all together, like get getting them all vaccinated together like getting mama and the kittens done together everybody in at once when it's appropriate I think that would just be oh my goodness find the zo where the zoom is there we go will you be spaying and neutering the kittens before you give them away if we can if it's early if it's um if it's not too soon because some people say you can do it at eight weeks uh some people say it's better to wait a couple months either way um we're happy to because we're going to try to keep them all on the block. So, uh, you know, happy to just kind of like continue the process just in different homes, you know. I would love to see them all grow up and like... We're actually going to be cat sitting for our one friend down the block on the holiday weekend. They just asked us to. And uh, so we just load the, the block up. Everybody get a cat. <laughs> hey, Mama. Oh, she is so pretty. She lets me touch her paws now. She lets me touch her belly. Is that one of your babies? Are you cuddling one of your babies? Oh, that is one of your babies. Oh, are they on the, are they on the tap? Is everybody on the tap? Over here, come on guys. I've been trying to make sure they all feed as much. I know.
such a natural mama. I'm so proud of you. drink my coffee. It's okay. I love you. You're good.
you getting all clean now?
Mama, get some food. There you go. There you go. That's a good one. If you guys want to help me build an Amazon wish list, I will. Ebony Star. I've never made one before, but like, if you want to, uh, I don't know. You guys have been so generous with the GoFundMe and everything. I think we're going to have, I mean, we have, we're we going to have everything we need. But like, if, if y'all want to like specifically gift them things that they can have or something, I don't know how that works, but sure. We can set up like something, whatever you guys think they they would like or need or we're making that room, the room upstairs for them, like a cat kingdom. It's going to be so dope. <laughs> I'm stoked. This has been like the Truman Show experience. <laughs> right, though? I'm just going to chill for a second back here because I want her to eat. I don't want her to be bothered at all. Because she... It's so good, though. Guys, again, whoever recommended that I put water in her wet food and mix it up and make it like a um just a better consistency right she's been loving it and she's getting more hydrated which is great um she seems to really like it she just has to lick it it's super awesome she doesn't have to like chew anything it's like the one of those cat it things but like all of it <laughs> so good oh she had her babies yeah we brought her in Shaquilla oh my god hey Shaquilla Shaquilla so we brought her inside were you here when we brought her inside finally she showed up with blood on her ear like all messed up and i don't know if she got into a fight or what but like we decided to bring her in on the spot and um i got her into the kitchen with some uh salmon and then um and then we just shut the door let her freak out and then she eventually ran downstairs and made it to the studio and then um two days later she uh she gave birth she went to labor we, she had she had she gave birth to five unfortunately number five didn't make it um it was stillborn and uh but she had four healthy kittens and she is the most amazing mom naturally she's just so good you pony mom what's up good morning last time i saw her she still had her big belly so you must have you must have so Shaquilla, you've been here from like when she was outside, when she was like super stray. Yeah, she, we got her in the house, let her freak out. Then she ran downstairs to my studio and she made her way under here. This, we just had a, all, we just threw about a bunch of blankets and that's where she gave birth. Um, and then we finally got, we finally, oh yeah. So Shaquilla, so she lets me like, she let me pick her up, her and her kittens up to get her in that thing. Um, she lets me, um, she lets me, uh, uh, kiss her and pet her and, like, touch her belly now and everything. It's a whole different... Unfortunately, Epona Mom, so, like, check this out, ready? Uh, we, we figured this out. So, the stream, and I didn't know this, but if anybody on Arpan knows this, or I guess it's too late to fix it or anything, but, um, we live streamed, like, seven hours. Uh, from her first birth when she was first going like when when we started the stream we were doing another stream of her breakfast and then she started making noises and I'm like holy shit she's going into labor so we ended the stream and started a new one right and she did she started going into labor right but the first like three hours of that or something is gone and um, I think it's because there's a limit on what is saved as a live stream so like we stream for like seven hours and only like five hours of that is on is on recording and it comes in in the middle of like so you, you see you can see um uh number four being born and then number five being born and uh but it it, it like the first half of that isn't even there anymore and i don't know what like you it, it's the, it's this it's the live stream but it's it's shorter yeah you know i like what happened what was that i don't know i don't know what happened because i wish we could like have that memory But anyway, there was enough people here. There's there's thousands of people. There was enough people that saw her 
saw it live and had that experience. And I feel like that's something that this community gets to share now. For like the, As we watch her and her kittens grow and the story of that and um, the next eight weeks and, and the nursery and the whole thing, um, I think there's going to be so many people that had a special gift of being able to be here for that live. I feel like it was like a pay-per-view of, <laughs> pay-per-view of it. It was crazy. But I... But I uh, streamed or not, you guys did an amazing job with her. She looks happy. She looks good. Eats well. Happy mom. Shaquilla, she is a different cat now. She is... And she's such a good mama. I, I'd show you the kittens right now, but if I move in that direction, she'll probably go back to the kittens. So I just want to stay here, crouch down for a second while she eats so she can get lots of nutrients. Do I have any screen recording software? What do you mean? Oh, I have, um... You mean, like, OBS and stuff? I have a live stream studio. That's what this is. Um, all that stuff. say something about her not eating well without water in the food you can download an app that records your live stream oh 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 I thought you meant like OBS or something I thought you meant I should I thought you were recommending that I stream from my computer I would do that so you have them all saved yeah I I would like that are you making are you making biscuits mama mama are you making biscuits Mama? can always blitz her food in a blender with extra water keeps a good few days in a container if it's cold out of the fridge add a few tablespoons of warm water interesting she really likes it i mean like it was two cans and she like pretty much devoured it that's good and she's been drinking her water so that's really good She's 
such a natural though with these kitties. Mama, can I lay here with you for a minute? So pretty. She's so tiny too. Mama, I can't believe you're that tiny and you ran around the city with all those babies in you for that long. You were so gangster. Mama, you're so gangster. Foxy lady, I think the general consensus on the vet was, oh, hi, baby. Hi. Hey. What? You want to say hi? Oh, you are purring. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. Hi, sweetheart. What's up? You want to come here? You want to come by? gonna wait she seems good get some food get some more food come on hey go get some more food you got it mama come get some more food you just came up to say hi to me i love you um the general consensus is she's doing great to leave her and don't freak her or the kittens out don't, don't traumatize them and um just wait out uh like the eight weeks see if everything's good and then just take them all at the same well we'll have the vet come to the home so we'll have the mobile vet come here and do everything um 
but I think right now everything is like everything is good you know she's she's not lethargic she's good with the kittens she's tending to them she's eating she's drinking she's she's affectionate she's playful she she no longer has any blood in her stool or anything like that she's pooping and peeing normally healthy. Yeah, I mean, they really are, though. Little wanderers, too. Hi, Mama. Oh, she wants to... Oh, you want the belly rubs. Oh, okay. Yeah, you deserve belly rubs. You deserve the belly rubs. Yes. belly rubs or you don't? I'm confused. Which was it? And just laid down. Mama. You need a break from the kittens. <laughs> is that what it is? Mama. 
Hi. What did you, what did you come out for? Did you just come out to see me? Hope so. That's so sweet. Mama, you are so pretty, and you're so tiny now. needs a break from the kittens. Ah, single, single, single mom life. There's a good mama. Those pawsies, though. Those little mittens of yours. That's where... That's where number four got it. Did you just need a little break from your kittens? Huh? Come on. Oh, she's playful. Don't scratch me. Don't scratch me though, okay? Oh, wow, that was amazing. Wow. She did the playful thing that she used to do, like when she messed me up before when she was an outdoor cat when she got excited and then she put her claws out she didn't put her claws out this time i don't want to jinx it but she didn't put her claws out that's really cool mama the progress you have made is incredible and you are so good i'm so proud of you i'm so proud of you Your ear is healing up really nicely. Looks like both of them got scuffed. What were you doing, Mama? What were you doing out there? What were you doing out there, Mama? Huh?
looks well rested today. She is. Mama's been doing so well. Mama, what are you going to do about those kittens, though? No? Are you just chilling right now? She's like sunbathing out here, laying on her towel. Sit on them. Oh, she's making the biscuits again. general speech what's going on man hey these are cute aren't they though try a story and get to see thank you for the 125 upvotes thank you for the 2300 coins mama are you making those biscuits Furry cuddle puddle pile. Cuddle puddle? Mama, you made beautiful kitties. Look at you. I'm so proud of you. The fact that she comes out and sees you is adorable. I love her. I love that. I love when she does that. That makes my soul smile. We got a special thing, Mama. Me and you. Huh? We got a special thing. What's really important every day is that I just condition... I don't want anybody thinking that I'm touching her more than I should or bothering her or the kittens. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm, con I'm, I'm, I'm uh, consistently conditioning her uh, and the babies uh, to the touch and moving, ar moving around and like, you know, kind of handling her a little more and stuff like that so that uh, we can safely move her upstairs uh, into their room and so that everybody can uh, be normalized to you know, to, to the fact that they're not outside and she doesn't have to be scared anymore and nobody's going to hurt her. Nobody's going to hurt her babies. It's just, uh, so I'm just trying to consistently, you know. Something really cool about uh, our other fur babies, uh, Oliver and Olivia, like you can, while they're sleeping, you can literally like, I mean, you can, you can, there's never a point when Oliver or Olivia is gonna bite us or scratch us or anything like that. They don't. It's the um, I conditioned Oliver when he was a super small kitten. We got him, and I used to just like carry him everywhere. Uh, she's a feral cat. It's understandable. She likes the pets. It's plus get her more used to people. Yeah, that's what. So we're just her. Uh, I don't want the vet when the vet finally comes and whatever I don't want it to be like a traumatizing thing for her but also I'm gonna 
our neighbors once we get her and the kittens up to the nursery and get them a little bigger and their eyes open we're gonna um our neighbors are gonna come see that uh are gonna adopt and stuff so correction feral cat she's she's our cat now she's not stray anymore mama you're not a stray anymore The way they cuddle with each with each other, blah, blah, blah. the way they cuddle with each other too, it kills me. I've never seen, I've never seen a kitten this small. I've never seen such a tiny face. I never saw them. Oh my god! Oh my god! I've never seen, I've never seen them before. They had their eyes open and stuff like that. That was Snoo. That's Snoo right there. He's got the the white. Oh my god! That's Snoo. The one that's. <sighs> my heart. Uh... Mama, you're doing so good. Snoo in that little <laughs> bottle. Oh, I can't. I just can't. Hi, Mama. Francis has left a mark on all of us. Sadly, she left a kitten tattoo on the palm of your hand. And I love it. It's not, it's, you know what? It's pretty faded now. You can't even really see it unless you're looking for it, to be honest. Like, I don't know. But she, yeah, she, she messed me up before. Zombie kitty. Snoo is Snoo has like half a white face too. He's got mittens, but like hold on. Snoo. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry, Snoo. I'm sorry to bother you, Bob. Oh, are you hungry? Oh, Snoo's going back for food. Mommy kittens are so cute, I think. You want to find homes for them in your neighborhood so they all come to visit Francis and you. Yeah, no, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get, we have friends on the block and we're trying to get everybody, we're trying to get everybody adopted out to everybody on the block so we can just like do visits and hangouts and cat sit and Snoo's hungry. Did Snoo plug right in? Snoo found that tap fast. Hold on, wait. Damn, Snoo, that was impressive. Snoo found that Snoo found that tap with no effort. Mama. Look at that. Kitty parties, yes. Snoo. Yo, know, cuteness overload, I just can't. Oh my God, Mama. And the way Mama's, oh, Mama, I love you. I love you, Mama. You're so good. You are so good. You are so good. I'm so proud of you. Super classy, thank you for the love. Snoo, you are blind as hell. What are you gonna open?
open those eyes, bub. Who's gonna open their eyes first? Snoo just went to go get a snack, and then... <laughs> Mama. It's a good mama. Yes. Do you love your babies? Hmm? A little cuddle pile. Oh, Snoo's going back. Snacking with Snoo. <laughs> That's gonna be... <laughs> it's gonna be the name of the next broadcast. Snacking with Snoo. Is that num-nums? It's amazing to me that they just know how to do this. That, like, you know... Baby turtles know to hatch and go to the water. Kittens know to, like, go right for the tap. Mama knows to like eat the placenta and to bite that stuff off like crazy. It's just stuff crazy to me. Like she's like, "Oh yeah, you're mine." And then it's just an, it's just it's just natural. Snacking with Snoo. <laughs> Good old Snoo. You snacking, bub? Oh yeah, he's clamping on. Infamous one. It's all a smell thing for eating, I know. Mama, I'm so proud of you. Look at that face. She's good. I wish I could go vertical, or like not, we are vertical. I wish I could go like horizontal video. Good morning, Foxy Tail. Snoo is snacking away.
wholesome seal of approval. What's up, cats? You playing live on the keys? <laughs> After snacking with snow, it'll be snoozing with snow. Mama. Snoo's down here, like, really going to town on it while, while, his, while their siblings are napping. <laughs> they fall asleep on the tap, I think. Are you drinking or... They're getting, I mean, their bellies are getting, look, these things are, they're definitely growing. I don't know, I don't want to, like, mis, I don't want to misgender them. I don't want, like, I, to say, like, him or her. Don't know what to say about the kittens yet, because we don't know what they are, what their sex is, sex is, oh, oh my goodness. Francis figured out the litter box. Oh yeah, no, no, no. It was never an issue. The moment we put the litter box in here, she used it. And she used it last night too. Mama, you're so good. Life's gonna be so good now. Promise. Okay? Okay? box is still an issue for my feral. Yeah, it's weird because totally, uh, totally wasn't, wasn't an issue at all. See, wait, have you been here? Sup, catch play? Oh, I, I didn't see that was you that made that. I didn't see the screen name. My man, foamy homie. Yo. Oh, I just threw something in our water. Foamy is the homie. Guys, if y'all don't know about foamy homie. I spelled your name wrong when I emailed that foamy. Ready for my spa treatment. <laughs> foamy, what are you up to, bro? It's good to see you. 
I like this. This is one of our chiller streams, so I can actually talk to you if you're... Normally the chat's going a little crazy. I can't see what... Foamy, Foamy and... Foamy and me go way back. I know Foamy. Foamy's been... Foamy's been rocking on the live stream scene for... For years. Foamy was there at the birth of live stream. Have you seen the kittens? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, of course you did, because you, you said, hi. I love you. You're so good. You're so good. All right. Guys, I think I... I'm gonna end the stream and let mom and her kittens just vibe and lounge and sleep still but we're going to attempt to get her and the kittens upstairs to their nursery so I think I'm gonna try to set that up and get I don't know we might just pick her up and go I'm really thinking this is the best route. I'm just gonna like pick up all of them in. I'm. This is what I'm thinking. We're gonna we're gonna put Oliver and Olivia in in a room upstairs. You know what they say about rescue pets? Who rescued who? Exactly. Oh man. Foamy. That was what I I've been telling everybody. I'm like, I think she saved me more than I saved her. Well. I don't know. She was roughing it out there. Mama was gangster. Mama was a, a Philly gangster just running the streets. Dry, always good to see you. Dry historian, always good to see you. Appreciate you. just stay here for a minute because I have to do something on my phone right here and she's just super comfy and I might just because I don't want to move if I move she's gonna she's probably gonna get up if I get up so I wanna just do this really fast hold up
I need the rest and I'm gonna go I need to go be productive just a little bit mama those old toe beans the fact that she lets me touch her paws and her belly and I mean we're just like the progress we're really getting there guys see it see you a little bit we'll be back thanks again for everything bye guys